the lotus flower is one of the most important symbols in Buddhism. I heard the story about the lotus flower, at least one of the stories. One of the big ones involves the Buddha addressing some big audience. And as I recall, they're expecting some grand speech, some grand wisdom, as one would expect from the Buddha. But he gives them quite a surprise. Instead of talking about something, all he does is hold up a lotus flower. Most everyone is confused, but one man in the audience gets it. This, they say, symbolizes how insight is something you can't explain to someone. You just get it. Have you ever been in those situations where you meet somebody that understands something and then you meet someone who doesn't and you explain it until you're blue in the face and the person just doesn't get that? I run into this all the time. I don't feel like I'm understood by most people, so I feel very refreshed when I find someone who does. For example, at work, I get this especially, I feel I need to hold back parts of myself. Thus, I feel inevitably I don't present all that's there. Some people can see right through that, but most people can't. Most people will say stupid things like, you have no mean bones in your body. You wouldn't do anything that would hurt anybody. In fact, I am a very venomous person. I believe I am moral and just, but I don't suffer fools gladly. And I don't care about things at work, so they don't see the passionate side of me. Which is why I like people who, right at the instant they meet me, they just know I'm all about politics and religion. Two topics you can't discuss at work. The lotus flower story I mentioned just not too long ago relates to Westboro Baptist Church. There are some parts of the film Hate Mongers, the pro Westboro Baptist Church film produced by Steve Drain. I think the story of Steve Drain illustrates this. Now, I don't know much of the details about how Steve Drain got into the church. All I can base it on is what I see in the video and the little I've seen. But, like they say with insight, you don't have to know the details because insight is getting something right away without having to know the details. It's this instant realization of the true essence of something. As they say, Steve Drain is interesting because unlike most of the members of Westboro Baptist Church, he wasn't born into the church and he didn't marry into the church. He came into it voluntarily. In the film, for most of the time you get the idea that Fred Phelps is talking to whoever is out there. And the approach of most of the Westboro Baptist Church people is pretty impersonal. They talk to in the same way everyone and they don't see all the shades of gray out there. But I hear him say Steve. Steve. So it's like he's talking personally to Steve. In one place I heard Steve Drain entered the church because he went there to make a video just out of interest in making a video and he was persuaded. Whatever the particular case may be, it's clear to me in the video that Fred Phelps is holding that lotus flower of his understanding of the world. Most people would say it's wrong, but it's his understanding. And Steve Drain has the same understanding. This is understanding most people wouldn't have. They have this instant connection. Westboro Baptist Church doesn't have a big membership. They're very selective. So it's interesting that Steve Drain met their criteria. 
they have the same understanding with him. I believe the lotus flower is also a potent symbol for looking at Westboro Baptist Church in general. Most people have a very harsh reaction towards Westboro Baptist Church. They think they're so bad, they're so terrible, so awful. Most people, it's hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them. And that's a problem I have with a lot of people in general. I'm not saying I don't have any harsh reactions or strong opinions about things. I certainly do. But most people have a hard time viewing things that are of such a strong nature without presenting strong opinions themselves. I believe there's a time and place of having strong opinions, but sometimes it's just the best approach to try to understand something, to view something without reacting towards it emotionally. I studied sociology in the academic setting and they say that's the point of sociology. Ironically, a lot of the liberals in sociology can't do that in their real lives. They say the sociological imagination, which is put forth by C. Wright Mills, is where you suspend your personal opinion of something and you just try to understand something. My ultimate, predominant reaction to Westboro Baptist Church is not a black and white hate or love thing. Though people try to pigeonhole me into that sometimes. But it is fascination. It is wow. 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 I've never seen anything like this before. To me it's such a unique combination of good and bad. They are very idealistic and that is something the world doesn't accept. They are very hateful? Certainly. They do some things very right. Some things very wrong. It's such an unusual combination of good and bad. I'm totally floored by it. I can't get enough of it. Some people ask and some people wonder why is he so fixated with Westboro Baptist Church? If you don't understand, it's hard to explain. There are a few other people out there who have the same reaction to Westboro Baptist Church. One of, wow, fascination. It's not right or wrong, left or right, black and white. It's one of fascination. What an interesting cultural phenomenon that works at so many levels. So it's very refreshing when I get the chance to talk to someone, usually it's over the internet, who just gets it. We are holding up that lotus flower to each other and saying we understand. We're not reacting like 95% of the other people are who say Westboro Baptist Church is bad. They're evil 100% so. But this is so wonderfully fascinating, so awesome. It just penetrates your whole being. And there's truly nothing like it. I stay focused on it because I've never seen anything like it. The Lotus Flower of Westboro Baptist Church. Most of you don't get it, but some of us do. I love interacting with those who do. It's refreshing to not have to explain.